How do you love this? How are you all doing? Welcome back to our crafting where we learn, grow and craft together. In today's session, we are going to use that wonderful piece of faux tissue paper that we made in our last tips and tricks session. And we're going to change that into a little project that we can include in our journal. So let's get started. In a previous session, I had shown you how I make or cut rather my own journal card and tag basis. I just want to tell you, this is the last one of that little bit that I have left. So you can see why I so often have to cut some more bases so that they are ready. Now for this little project, we're going to make a tag, a real quick one, and I'm going to just put glue, glue stick, not liquid glue, because the liquid glue will compromise the strength of our tissue paper because this is very flimsy. Remember, it's just one layer of the backing of our serviettes. And I'm just putting glue stick all over the tag. Now you can add any part of this to your, to your project. I just have a bit there that's going to bother me slightly. I kind of like this, so let's see. When you put it down, make sure it's lined up nicely. You can then grab your piece, make sure it fits. So try and fit it in because once it's touching base, that's about it. So very carefully, very gently, I'm going to take my trusty card and you will notice I'm rather pressing onto it than to scrape the card over this tissue paper. And I'm using a white card base because my tissue paper is white and I want that pop of color from the back to just go through. Now you can do this two ways. You can wet a paintbrush and run it across and tear it, or you can just trim it with a pair of scissors, which is what I will be doing. Just cut that and I will be ever so gently keep this together. See how my scissors has got glue on it. It's time for me to run some alcohol over and clean it just so that it's not so sticky. Get that sorted. This can be easily used in collages or wherever you want to use it. Easy way, a cheap way. I will still one day show you how to do the same thing. Actually, it's not even worth it to make a video, but if you want to, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to use colored archival inks to achieve the same type of effect. So just trimming this off on all four sides and then the top of the deck, we just trim the slanted parts off and I drop the tag. And there's a bit there. I have pre-selected my goal that I want to use, but I need to get some bits and bobs. And I think I like that because it will look as if she's sitting on the postcard with those little wings. I kind of like that, but we need to get some color in here. So in my little container, I'm going to just rummage and see what is popping out. I like that. Awesome. Hmm. Something blue. Let's see. What is that? Something blue. So we've got blue thingies. We've got something brown. What else can we see that's in here? Little things. I think it's from Tim Holtz. It's the tiny ephemeras, I think, called snippets. I know that part. That part I know very well. It's called snippets. So let's see, there's so many pieces, so cute, that can be used. And see, this is where I get lost because I see all these beautiful things and I can't make up my mind what I want to use. I think we need something to just break the red up, but I mean, the we need something red to just, I don't know, I can't seem to make up my mind at this point. Tiny little things from the snippets. Kind of like that one also just because we can maybe a bigger one i don't know i really don't know we will see do i have that one already they look very similar i don't want a field label because she's not a specimen maybe like a library card let's see there are some beautiful cards here shells all kinds and yes i have taken parts of it out already I don't know which is which anymore. I'm so sorry. 
I tend to take the butterfly things out and put it in my butterfly box and so that when I'm looking for butterflies, it's so much easier to find butterflies. I like this, but it will take away the whole thing. And there's a tiny, tiny library card. See, that's why I like the snippets. You have everything the bigger cards have got, but in a tinier format. So let me just close this and let's see where this is taking us. So this girl, we want her on there, but we need to finalize. So she's sitting on the postcard, but I want to just add a bit. Maybe before we add her, let's just add a few things. upside down now. I want to close everything that we have there. That will be defeating the objective. I just want to see. Yes, there's a part that needs to be popped out. Isn't she just gorgeous? So there we have that. I think that looks kind of cute. And then we'll add that one there just so that we know where every piece needs to go. So you can see that I'm using my tissue paper as the complete background. I'm not going to add anything to the background. You can if you want to. Sturdy now that the glue is dry. We know more or less where the girl needs to go. Let's put a bit of color there by her. Just so that you can draw the eye in. A tiny postage stamp. And now the challenge will be to see which way it needs to go. Oh, thankfully there's a face. That helps. That truly helps. So we will add it there. Just to get something there by her. And she's there. I think I want to add her with some liquid glue. Because it's a bit of thicker card. Just some liquid glue. In this case I use Eileen's. Could have used large matte medium. You use whatever glue you prefer. Don't think you have to use what I am using, as that is just ridiculous. You use what you have to use. And if that is just a glue stick, then you just use a glue stick. Just know that it sometimes might be a little bit more challenging to get things to glue down with only a glue stick. So let's see, there's some um, more monies involved. Just put that one there. It will look like a little stamp. And then this one. And I'm using glue stick. This one I can truly not see. Yep, there's a two, so that will work. I'll add that there. And it looks like a cancel postage stamp because there's that stamp on it. I just love them stuff. But it's not always easily available where I am. Just filling in this area and this I'm going to put to her left. Well, it's her right, but our left. wanted to include that 50 but there will be too many that will work so let's add that with normal glue stick just on there and now yes you guessed it we are just going to ink the edges and then call it a day so vintage photo as always my choice sometimes I like to go darker darker there's our tag for today using our own full tissue paper 
Thanks for joining me. Go try this for yourself and please tag Wawa Crafting on social media if you do. If you want to see more content like this, give me a thumbs up. And as always, I'll appreciate it if you subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you back soon. Goodbye.